Hey there, so I run a garden maintenance company and I've just arrived at a house I thought you might like to have a look at, so let's check it out. I'll uh, spin you around. So the last time we were here was uh, about a month ago, um, so it's a bit of a mess again. We'll come here every couple of weeks in general, and at the moment for a couple of hours, you can see there's um, quite a lot of weeds in the driveway, um, some new plants to put in and um, lots of weeds here and the fence is a bit wrecked I've referred them to someone I know for the fencing uh, but I'm not sure when that will get done so that's the the front and then if we go around the side um, when we were here before this was covered in weeds and you might say well it still is but it was um, it was unbelievable loads of hydrangeas uh, uh, not <laughs> budley is loads of budley is growing up through which we've got rid of and um, yeah, this was totally covered this side. So just trim it through and then um, and blow it out through the back and then you can see what we've got here. So we need to come back when, a, well, when we come back on a drier day, we'll uh, put some weed killer down. So that's the only way we're going to get rid of uh, some of these things, the dandelions. You'll never get them out unless you put weed killer down. This is the back garden, it's a big one. Just trying to get back a bit so we'll do a, a mow and uh, got these plants to put down somewhere a couple of big hydrangeas and we don't know what these other things are and um, previously we've cleared this sort of area or had done of any major weeds there's, there's an oak tree down there that needs to come out because it's been a month, uh, everything's shot up now for the growing season. Uh, look, there's a climbing hydrangea up there. That'll look nice when it flowers. Still got some of the old flowers on from last year, but here are the new ones to come out. And that's a privet hedge. That'll have a, a trim at some point. I don't know if we'll do that today, because we could, we could get away with another few weeks on that one. And then there, there are a lot of these grasses. So these grasses were basically all around here. And we've pulled quite a few out so far. And um, just need to try and keep making gains. They're a bit of a weed, a bit of an ugly weed. And then, uh, so the grass is quite long. You can't quite see it from that angle, but it's a fair bit going on this border you can see where we've started putting some excess soil from the end of the garden and you can you can see all the work that's that's needed um, quite often we'll blow the borders out and pick, pick up the debris with the mower one of the biggest challenges we've got in this garden is actually uh, waste <laughs> we've we've got no way of getting rid of the waste we've got no waste bins hopefully they'll They'll order some, but they, they haven't so far, the, the people who live here. More of the, the grass is there. Really horrible weeds. Sometimes they're easy to get out the little ones, but the bigger ones are quite difficult. That's about to flower. And uh, as we go through, this is one of the areas where we've been putting some of the, the grass waste. So it has just been mulching down. So that's been a winner. And walk through. So this is sort of the second half of the garden, a bit of a children's play area, which we can strim round. And then this area at the back. Uh, <laughs> okay, so they've got some lighter fuel and some. Um, looks like they've got some some paper waste. They want to try and burn in the incinerator, but uh, I got through an awful lot of. Um, basically sticks and branches that were in this pile in this sort of back area so this is a bit of a challenge and we've been pretty much just separating the sticks from the soil and then when I get a good pile um, sort of shovel the soil into a little bucket and take it down to the top um, to put the soil in the in the bed, bed at the front um, further up the garden that I pointed out earlier. So we'll be able to clear this area after maybe two or three more visits. Um, so just chip away at 
at bits. This is a bit of a, a disaster zone on this side. Just a huge amount of ivy, basically. That's all it is. And you can see where this has sort of been pulled back. This this sort of body's been pulled back and someone's put a fence in. But the fence has sort of stopped. They probably got so far and thought, well, they're not going to get through that. That's pretty dense woody material. Looks like looks like a privet hedge actually and then going back up the garden see all these blue things on the side I think they're in the comfrey family they're real they're really messy to strim really nasty to strim they're slimy as well and they'll come back then this area needs a good weed got a barbecue there and then back up to the front of the garden so we'll, we'll show you um, a bit of an after shot of what we've done. Uh, I might just show you a bit of the gear I've got. I've got a roller mower so I'll have some nice stripes in the ground and I've got a steel strimmer combi so you can put a hedge cutter on there as well and then a Makita blower. It's a good blower. It's a bit better than the, um, the steel ones but a bit more difficult to maintain. So um, a bit of clearing on petals and debris and stuff on this path so we'll show you what we get to well we had a little clear up
So our challenge here is that we've got nowhere to put the waste, no disposal. So we're just creating areas where it will mulch down. And this is a really good area. We're able to drop a lot of leaves um, and just spread out the grass. It's really hidden out of sight. It looks like it can take the, the mulch pretty well. So just spread it out, That'll, the grass will go down into nothing, um, the leaves will rot down too. It's quite dry in there so it might take a bit longer, good having the grass on top. But, uh, putting the stripes in, sun's just coming out, it was uh, a little bit rainier a few moments ago. So just doing the second half of the garden now, this bit, and uh, just getting rid of a full load. I've done this part of the garden up here, it's looking nice. So we're uh, spreading this grass on top of these dry leaves. So they should weigh it down and give it a bit of moisture and hopefully they'll decompose a bit more and, and they'll go down a bit. So just Start it up again.
Okay, so we're getting near the end, so I'll just show you uh, what we've done. There's a couple of bits to finish off, but this is this is the result, so um, let's check it out. So this is the front driveway. You can see it's not perfect, but we've trimmed off the main bits and um, blown and, and, and took all the debris into a corner and tidied it up. And So next time we'll need to run a hoe through this bed and tidy that up. We've made the, the doorway nice and neat and tidy and all the driveway. Um, so the, go through the alleyway, strimmed the alleyway and blown it all out. Obviously the strimmer can't reach in uh, where, well, kept it away from here because there's wires, but everywhere else we've, uh, we've done all right. So nice and neat and tidy. Blown it out, just watering the plants that we put in and then um, strimmed this patio, there's a lot of moss and weeds in it, so strimmed it and blown it out and then hoovered it up with the, the lawn mower and um, that's the, the first lawn and then this is the sort of patio area, a couple of weeds were missed but get them next time. And, um, planted a hydrangea in here and just um, put the, run the hoe through and, and tidied it out a bit and um, another hydrangea in there. So two pretty big established ones um, that have just been cut down and probably not very cared for. Might have been in the bargain, bargain basement sort of section. Just watering this. What did you say that was? Hibiscus. Hibiscus. And we've uh, cleared, started clearing this left hand border so next time we can um, neaten up the edge on that and um, tidy it up a bit more. But. Um, tried taking some grasses out of, the, of this border but it's an absolute nightmare because it's, um, it's a rockery in there and these grasses are very firmly dug in so we're just going to have to chip away at them over time I think and um, so we've, we've not been able to plant everything we'd have liked because just trying to clear the, the, the space is just very very tough um, so we're going to come up with a plan for clearing these grasses maybe trim them down and, and try and dig them out uh, we'll see we'll see next time so, um, but here's the lawn area, looking nice. And a um, couple of bits I'd normally do, but you, when you run out of time, you just got to decide what to do. So, um, would normally edge a bit sharper with the strimmer. But spent time on other things. And then um, cleared this patio with the strimmer, edged it quite nicely. And, um, that's where we've we've put some stuff. So that little pile of, of stuff, I think we'll put onto another pile in the back. But there's a nice carpet of grass, thinly spread, so that will wilt down hopefully by next time. And then this is the second bit of grass. And uh, pretty much it. So we'll uh, put it all together. Let me know if you want to see any more. Uh, that's what we do few days a week garden maintenance so we're maintaining we're not kind of I don't know we, we do a bit of real gardening we plant some stuff but generally the maintenance and keeping the wolves at bay so um, yeah let me know what you think over and out